All right, took a nap, put on a different shirt, fed the dogs, happy bitches. Back to the uh, printer here, it's all shut down now, of course I have auto shut down scripts and all that and octoprint. Quick recap, this is the uh, boat, old Benchy from the first test, I'm sitting there on the bench. Um, yeah, decent, right? So there's this Benchy with this uh, strange dangling printer. Uh, I can even the tough book to sleep. I do love that picture. That just looks funny. Anyways, let's turn on the light. Light on. That didn't help much because it's under the x-axis, but whatever. Eh. 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 Hmm. Let's see here. It's just, oh, there we go. Alright. She freewheeling now. And this is the Angle Dangle Benchy. You see there's some problems there. Let's see if we can get this in. No, I can't change moves, but anyways. Yeah, she got a little funky, funky, funky stuff going on right there at the bottom where it was overhanging, because remember it was hitting at this angle up. So that was like extra overhanging. Um, it was probably trying to compensate for it. There's a big old fuzzy. Is that actual hair? It is. <sighs> nope. Uh, just filming it. Anyways. Because all the other angles are relative to the x-axis, it doesn't really care. But yeah, you'd see where it's just kind of doing a good job down there. But I think overall, this bench, probably still beats a lot of printers out there. And that's the fun part of it. So, punchy number one. Just again. And Benchy swinging from a rope. Well, camouflage motorcycle tie down strap because I couldn't find a piece of rope that I felt confident tying it and I done. Because, uh, uh, I might have a minute or two involved in this. I don't feel like dropping it on the floor. Speaking of, if you want to watch me drop it on the floor, let's put the phone back up here and uh, take it down. All right, tough book. Go over there. Veggies. The far side of the bench. Power supply. Oh. So nice to my machines. There we go, back on the table. That's so nice. I'm sure it feels good to be down from up here. Ah. I mean, what's the point of having a shorter strap? Get the little cam back in position. Oh yeah, it should come off that strap. And there she is! Safely back, uh... I mean, relatively safely, right? So, anyways, that's it. I did the thing with the stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, this was great. Because it's prototype, I wanted a quick way to change wires in the x-axis, so I made this thing. The silicone wire that goes down to this big 24-pin uh, connector. And everything is in there. Heater, all that. 
Here's spread across four pins for the amps, everything else, even the motors in there. Plenty of room. Here's your pan cheese. This is the uh, $625 on DigiKey. I got this thing for 30 bucks off eBay. Printed the case. Of course, everything is a knock to a fan. This one's on a uh, on one of the quad MOSFETs down here. Uh, so if the pie hits 50 degrees C, it turns that fan on. Turns it off again when it cools down 48. Just a little script. Get your end stop. And the rear motor. The screw. And you barely see the uh, front screw in its uh, retainer. Oh, yeah, voltage converters. So the 24 volt power supply provides 5 volts and 12 volts. Those rails are created right here on the printer with these two 50 watt converters. Yep. Cool. Anyways, guys.